gonna wait uh, three more minutes if uh, nobody joining. Just, just to make sure I start on the right time. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Two more minutes. I prepared all, all the material uh, just in case uh, I need to speed things up. Uh, otherwise, it can be like uh, watching paint dry, uh, tying a classic Selma fly. I don't expect many to watch, <laughs> but, but uh, it, it could be fun uh, anyhow. Hello, mm. I start in uh, two minutes. So I took the freedom to actually build uh, the wings and everything. So everything is in place. So it's just about to mount all the details to the fly. So I hope to be able to make this under 30 minutes, hopefully. And I, of course, I'm gonna save uh, the live stream uh, so everybody can watch it later. So one more minute, then we start. Speed tying a hems, uh, Hemsdale uh, doctor. I sheet a little bit, add some uh, extra small silver tinsel oval, just tying it in. I might do video tying in hand later as well. That's always fun. So we are securing the silver tinsel. and doing some wraps of the tinsel. It's gonna be tinsel tag on this one. I think the focus is shifting uh, each time I turn the tinsel. Let's try to do this quick. How is the light? Is it good? Tight wraps of the tinsel. The last two wasn't that tight, so let's redo those. And there we are. So we are securing the tinsel. Your turns. So cutting the leftovers. I always have an ugly scissor uh, due to the fact when you tie uh, metal tinsel, uh, you tend to break the good ones. Oh, it's okay. So I need to build up a foundation for the tail. I'm just adding some thread to the hook, doing that. So 
And then we add some wax to the thread. I don't like pre-wax threads. Tail. There we are. Prepared it earlier. securing it. A few wraps of thread. So let me see. Graham. Hi buddy. How are you? What I'm doing now is to add uh, the golden sea scent feather in the back. There we are, so it's attached. Let me try to shift the focus a little bit. So I'm just tying it in as well, cutting the leftovers. And then just... Oh, so Graham, when I'm doing live, uh, I don't have a close-up camera, um, unfortunately. So I only have this wide thing, but uh, I think uh, it could be good because then I can show what I'm doing with my fingers, etc. Uh, of course, in all my other videos uh, that I'm uh, creating, I use uh, the close-up camera because I can't broadcast from a close-up through my computer to YouTube or Facebook somehow. Sorry for that. But if you beam this picture on uh, the wall in your living room, you can see it pretty close up, I think. <laughs> so, next step, tinsel. So first of all, uh, we need to have uh, oval silver tinsel. I'm using large. So I'm just take out a bit of the tinsel to make the tying point smaller. So let me see. There we are. Yeah, thanks, Graham. And Pinterwax the thread. Oh, it's nice when uh, you get the wax, uh, short pieces of it just into your eyes. <laughs> and time for the tinsel. So just securing it, a few tight wraps. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. Let's start with uh, some red wool first. Otherwise, it will be no doctor. So 
So just a little bit. There we are. You can see that red small dot. Now we do the tinsel thing. There we are, just putting the tinsel away. And since I don't like thin, boring bodies, I have some white silk that I'm gonna use to build up the body a bit. There we are. So, just wrap the silk forward and then I'm gonna go backwards again. I think, or to the middle and back and then something. So how's the weather in UK? It's pretty nice. I think we got the UK weather to be honest. No snow, it's uh, five, six degrees, strange. So almost done with the body. And I have a little bit more structure. As I mentioned, speed tying, it's fun. So let's just tie that one in. So I'm cutting the leftovers of the silk. Looks pretty okay to me. Yeah, I can imagine it's a, quite a lot of rain at your location and the wind there, right? So, just cutting the tinsel. And to be honest, with, lately with you, Graham, uh, I'm uh, in between uh, work. So, uh, yeah, currently I have no plans except uh, tying uh, flies. 
Um, however, I have an interview on Monday for a new potential position. So yeah, who knows? So that's why I'm able to uh, do quite a lot of videos uh, at this time. So I'm going to use that opportunity. Thanks, mate. So just wrapping uh, the tinsel backwards and then forward again. It wraps. I think I tied this one, this pattern only once before. I always had a struggle with the um, peak or curl. So it's going to be interesting if I mess it up. Oh, yeah, we need to tie fly together, mate. So let me know when you're ready and we can do it uh, online uh, in a video over Messenger or something. So you're securing the tinsel. Cutting the leftovers. And we have the silver tinsel, the oval one. So first we're gonna wax the thread. There we are. So securing that one as well. Perfect. So Now we have uh, the front tackle to add. And it's yellow. So we're gonna see where they're gonna start. Let's start there. So I'm using yellow cock tackle. Oh, yeah, take care of your dog, mate. No worries. See you later. So 
tools. There we are. Let's just have a look at this one. And now it's time for the front tackle. So gently push it backwards. So I will decide how many turns I will have in a while. I just want to see how it builds and everything. Hey, Soren, nice to see you, mate. How are you? So I'm going to do one more turn here. And there we are, less should be sufficient. Boring times and no, no fly tying fares. So uh, I'm stuck uh, uh, doing videos in my garage. Hi, Elias. Moi, moi. And there we are. Now we have the front tackle in place. So I'm just securing it. Yeah, that's gonna. And now to the drama. Uh, Pico curl. <laughs> oh, I always have a, such a problem attaching that to uh, flies. So hopefully uh, they are kind to me. Just gonna see how much. Just about there. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Quite nice. So I'm just going to cut all the leftovers and then uh, um, add some varnish. So. There we are. Ja, eh, every, eh, sorry. <laughs> Everything is good here in in uh, Sweden. Um, a lot of uh, corona disease though, but uh, yeah. I, I guess it's the, the same uh, almost everywhere. Strange times, but, but yeah, it doesn't bother me really. Uh, I think I stay home time flies anyhow, so I'm quite secure. So I hope it's the same with you guys. So I want to pull down the hackle there and what I want is these ones to, yeah, perfect. There we are. So next step is the wing. My God, let's do this. I did uh, 
will doing before. I can make a close-up video on how to build wings. If anybody would like that. So there we are. So gently trying to squeeze the feather down. Okay, so they close down everything. So then, yeah, I, I think that's uh, the best way to do it. But with the, the, the Swedish government now, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I guess you've seen the the SMS they sent out. <laughs> so hopefully we can change government soon. Let's give this one some structure. Not that bad. I'm not all happy. Uh, it's quite a lot of hurl all over the place, but yeah, it looks decent. I can fish with it at least. It's not the pattern I would tie on a fair. Oops, there we are. Just cutting off a few small things. Yeah, I can trim it later, but no, I better leave it. It's unnecessary to trim it. It should be a bit rough. So what's left on this one? I think it's just, uh, yeah, it's the topping and uh, the red um, wool head. So it's quite quick pattern if you do it a bit rough, but if you want to have everything perfect, it's quite a difficult fly to tie properly. So. Just having a look at the chat, just in case I miss something. So I'm gonna wax the thread and add some varnish. Yeah, busy times, eh? I just started, I haven't tied flies in, who? 
two or three months, and that's really long time for me because I tie flies uh, at least uh, one or two times every week just to practice. So uh, I'm I'm not really where I used to be in the in the tying quality, but slowly I, I pick it up again. Uh, I did uh, some studying actually. I took uh, a bus driver license and uh, everything that you need to have for that. It could be cool, but most likely I start uh, a job within the, in the IT business again. But uh, yeah, it's quite hard to change a job currently in these Corona times. So, some varnish. Yes, normal uh, banyard stuff. So, time to cut the leftovers then. So... So I'm done cutting this one. Just need to cut carefully so you don't cut the, the good eye. That would be quite boring. <laughs> The last red there. Come on. So there we are. Little bit more here in the top. Oops. There we are. So now we need to find a nice. So let's have a look. I do, maybe a bit long. Look again. Yeah, let's take that one. It's a bit curved, I noticed. That's not really fun. Now, I need to find another one. As you can see, it's not straight. Right along.
I have plenty of very, very long ones. So I need to make a few new boxes, sort them into length. So, long, 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 long. Maybe this one. Yeah, we might have a winner. Yeah, perfect. Now I'm happy. So there's the tool. Sorry, and if you're still there, are you still studying or are you done studying? So before adding the topping, I need to add some wax to the thread. No, not really. So I need to have it smack on. Oh, come on. Make a better foundation. Let's try it now. Oh, biology, yeah. You have a few years left, I guess. And doing it online, hmm, that's respect. So, topping in place. So I just need to add some varnish, but first waxing the thread. And then we have the wool head. Perfect. Two years left. Oof. You're gonna have a gray beard when, when you're done studying, mate. <laughs> so you're gonna be professor from day one. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Rosen. How are you? Nice to see you. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't see you, but <laughs> thank you for joining. I didn't expect so many to show up, uh, to be honest. So I'm just added, added some varnish uh, to the head. There we are. So I'm just gonna wait for a little bit for it to dry, and then we're gonna add the, the last part that is the red wool head, and then the fly is actually finished. Um, yeah, I've been quick today, but I prepared everything before. So 
So I guess cleaning the desk when tying classic Selma flies. I like to have a clean desk. So I just take a little bit of the wool. Probably it's too much, but uh, yeah, I start with the, that amount. Then just gently cut the leftovers of the topping. Then it, I add the wool to the thread. Little bit more, like one turn more, and then I think it's sufficient. And there we are. Red wool hand. Uh, the hook is a 5-0, uh, 5-0 um, uh, Sprite uh, from back in the days before Partridge uh, bought Sprite. So let me see if I, I have a small drawer of salmon hooks, <laughs> as you can see. You can't have too many hooks. So let me show you the one I'm using. The one I'm tying on now is, oh, that was stupid. Let me see if I can do that. There you see it. So it's a nice blind eye. Yeah, this camera is actually like a conference camera. It's not the perfect for doing um, video shooting of uh, fly tying, but since I go, uh, do it live, uh, I think it's quite perfect. You can you can still see the fly, but uh, not close up as in my my normal videos, because then I'm using uh, different cameras to achieve a close up. So this one, just take the whole, yeah, the whole picture, so to say, but uh, it's able to do uh, 4K. And uh, currently I need to change laptop to be able to do 4K streams. So maybe I buy like a Mac mini or something and pimp it with the, all the memory I can fit in it and then I can have some yeah, some interesting videos in 4K. So to be honest, um, the fly is almost ready. I'm just gonna add some varnish in the top of the head. Hey Dave. Uh, no worries. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, publish the live stream so you can you can watch it again uh, when you have time. Uh, sorry for being that quick, <laughs> but but uh, I I think I need to be quick uh, doing it live. Otherwise, uh, it, it would be so boring to watch us. As I mentioned, like uh, looking at uh, uh, paint dry. So I did this one very, very quick, but, but overall, uh, it's my second time ever tying the fly. Um, I'm pleased with it. 
so I'm gonna add it in my cabinet, by the way. Not sure if you've seen it. There it is. I can fit the, yeah, three, 400 flies in it, I think, when it's ready. I need to uh, buy the Wheatley clips and then I'm gonna mount that in, in the drawers. Any questions, anything before I uh, close uh, the video? So. Thanks, Søren. Same to you, buddy. Take care in these uh, difficult times and uh, uh, hopefully we see each other uh, on, on the Danish Fly Fair next year, unless it's still Corona times. And for all you other uh, that have been watching, um, if you don't see each other or talk to each other before, so Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.